Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And this was actually a surprise review, uh, as I got the word Friday night that this popped in in stock on Amazon.com. This is uh, Transformers Cyberverse Skull Cruncher. Um, this is an Ultra Class figure and features the Spring Out Energon armor gimmick a very surprising addition to the line especially towards the end um but yeah it's listed as a decepticon but really in the show it had no real um uh, affiliation to either side i i think in the show um skull cruncher was more of a breed of cybertronian animal than a standalone character like from g1 so, uh, this is the alligator mode. Um, not a lot of articulation or anything like that. You do have some play here in the uh, tail. That's due to uh, how it connects. Um, the jaw does not open. That's because the jaw is actually used uh, to store the armor. But that's kind of cool in robot mode, which we're going to get to right now. Okay, transformation is relatively easy. What you want to do first is come back here and remove the tail. What I recommend is just removing the gun first, as that gives you a little bit more of uh, leverage and places to grip that you don't have to worry about breaking it. I like the pistol. It's kind of cool. I am a little bit disappointed that um, they don't have a little back stock as shown on the uh, packaging. Now to remove the tail, what I like to do is just put my thumb on that one of those gray haunches, press down, and just wiggle up. And we can just move that off to the side. And what's cool about the tail is they finally ended the debate. Is it a sword? Is it a mace? It's a sword. It has that little fold-out green piece that matches the coloring of the armor. So to continue on with the transformation, what you want to do is come in, grab it from this uh, midsection, and rotate it all the way around, just like so. This is going to form the legs, so let's go ahead and separate them. And now what you're going to do is fold up these uh, green pieces. There's a tab there that's going to fit into a slot right underneath, it's going to snap right into place. Now, interesting thing I want to mention. Um, there are these slots here, and I'm not really sure what they're for. My only guess is is that they're there because there's a little bit of a red tab that's dangling above it, but they doesn't tab in, so I don't know. And now for the crocodile or alligator, don't know which is which. We miss you, Steve Irwin. Um, legs, just go ahead and kind of push them down the instructions really don't tell you how to deal with it so then i guess the next step is we can come in and deal with the uh, arms what i like to do is bring them down just like this and yeah things are going to start uh getting a little loosey-goosey now but you want to straighten them out at the elbow and then flip up the feet that will reveal the hands and then you'll rotate them on at the red forearm, there's a little mushroom cap there. And they do peg in the um, feet, the animal feet do peg into the forearm. And then what you'll do is rotate the arms at the shoulder, up and around, just like so. And then come in and rotate the whole thing forward that there are little tabs that will sort of friction in place to the side of the crocodile head. Finally, what you want to do is come underneath, open up that panel, which as soon as we finish this, you'll see lines up where the old tech spec chart would be if this was a headmaster. And make sure you give it a good push that the head will snap into place in uh, a tab in the chest. Bring it up like so. And there you have Skull Cruncher in its robot mode. Now, a little comparison to uh, the Titans Return figure. Unfortunately, the legs are a little loose. Not as loose as that figure. 
And we're going to talk a little bit more about that figure. Unfortunately, I don't have it handy to do uh, comparisons with, but it, it, this is a completely new mold and it's completely a new style. So finally, what you can do is uh, you can put the weapon in here. And before we um, put the sword in, let's uh, trigger the uh, armor gimmick. Now, make sure you have enough clearance in the back there. Do not grab it like this because the armor is going to come out from that red section, but grab it around the right waist. Rotate the arm forward, and good. It'll spring forward just like so. We can go ahead now and uh, put the uh, uh, sword into its hand. And uh, let me adjust the camera ever so slightly since they got a little bit taller with that arm. And you can see how the legs are a little bit sliding around. But you have that great crocodile look to it. Uh, or alligator, again, not really sure. But what's nice is there's a little tab here. And you can flip up the head like that. I don't remember any of the other... Uh, Energon armor figures having that type of uh, play with the armor. And simply to reset it, come around the back, grab this red section, hold it open, flip the whole head back. Um, there is a little bit of a white tab there. You want to make sure that gets hooked into. Close that up. And there you have uh, Skull Cruncher unarmored. Now, if you do want to move the arm around without triggering the uh, armor gimmick, you can just hold it from the torso and that will help hold the, the uh, armor in place. But as soon as you let go, and it will just uh, spring forward like that. A little bit of a knock. I would have preferred like a button or some other sort of trigger, but I figured, you know, they were looking for a new and inventive ways to trigger the armor. So we'll pause and I'll come back with my final thoughts. So I like Skull Cruncher. I think this is a fun figure. Now I do want to talk a little bit about uh, some people have been making comparisons to the Titans Return figure. And yes, while this is not as articulated um, I like to remind people that that figure had a lot of soft plastic on it that was coming out of the uh, packaging warped out of place, namely the cockpit for the Titan Master. Um, and while, yes, there was more articulation in the beast mode, it really wasn't making that big of a difference. So I, I think, you know, saying, well, this doesn't have articulated legs for the beast mode. I mean, it's kind of a half argument. Um, you, you know, and then and then it was like there was talk there was a base mode. Let me just say, Titan's Return Skull Cruncher had no base mode. If you want to fiddle around and find something, yeah. But that's your own creation and not an official mode and not a fair comparison to this. This figure has the articulation it needs. Hips, knees, shoulders, and elbows. It can point it, its weapons forward in a menacing manner, which is what you would want from a quote-unquote bad guy toy. So, now that's again, not saying that this is better necessarily than the Titan's Return figure, but seeing as how that was over five years ago, um, it might be a little harder to find now when you walk into your store. Plus, this is a like a different cyberverse is a different universe so you know this figure didn't have to be a headmaster this is like a whole new interpretation it just looks like it um like i said very happy to have it i think it's kind of cool I, I like how at the end of these lines we get these very interesting figures um i'm gonna even say that it's one of the best ultra class um, ultra class figures we've gotten in the cyberverse line so definitely it's I recommend picking it up. Uh, so if you like this uh, video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Why well, I always appreciate a good uh, view. Um, the liking, commenting, and subscribing helps with the YouTube algorithms. And that's basically telling YouTube that this video should and others should be promoted. If you really like and would 
the video and want to help support the channel, there is a link to my Patreon some here, somewhere here in the corner, as well as in the description below. All I ask for is a dollar a month. No thrills, no tears, no bonuses. It's just your way of helping me bring content like this to you. Um, you know, with everything going on in this year and just so, so much product coming out, um, I've had to make decisions about what I get and don't get because I really can't just throw money at things that don't contribute to the channel in a fiscally positive manner. Ooh, big words. Other than that, this is your old pal Chuck for Skull Cruncher. We will see you next time as I hit the figure with my hand.